Hi everybody, my name is Corey the C, and I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to use your Stream Deck along with this beautiful, beautiful program called VDME Mini, or v Vito 2 Mini, whatever the crap it's called. So basically, how you can go from having your character sit there and talk to switching all the different emotes that you have for your character. Now it's very simple. And the first thing I'm going to tell you all to do is you're going to go over here to Video Tube Mini. I'm going to have the link in the description. Don't worry about that. And basically, you scroll down, you hit download, it names your price, bada bing, bada boom. And well, let's hit the download now. You can say, oh, just $5. Or you say, no, take, just take me to the downloads. It'll take you to the downloads and bada bing, bada boom you download which one will fit your needs. So you got the 64-bit, you got the 32-bit, you got Linux, Macintosh, and this works for with Windows, Linux, and also Apple or iOS, well not iOS products, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's perfectly fine. So let's close out of that because we don't need that no more. And now from here, this is not the first thing you need to do. The first thing you really need to do is go to your art program, I've already previously made this design right here for my annoyed. So I have my annoyed eyes open, closed, all that fun jazz. So let's go to here. Let's go hit file, save as. Let's give me a new folder and call it annoyed. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say annoyed open mouth well that's open eyes closed mouth make sure to save it as a png we're not saving it as a clipsio paint file and then we hit save yes then we go to eyes closed mouth closed hit save and i'm going to go over here and oh scd Closed eyes, closed mouth. Yes. Now I'm going to scroll up here. Switch it to closed eyes, open mouth. There we go. And then we're going to scroll down here. Swap it to open eyes. Save as. Open eyes, open mouth. Done. Now we have those files ready to go. Now I can minimize that, go over here. We're going to go all the way to the right, right here, which is create state. You're gonna click create state. This tells me that it's state number seven. I am going to click on here, go up here, go to closed mouth image. That is open eyes and also closed mouth. So I'm gonna bring that over, back it up, go over to annoyed, and that is annoyed open eyes eyes closed mouth going to do that and as you can tell it already swapped it over but let's switch this one to change image and this is whenever the mouth is open boom now let's go with the next one and that is closed mouth closed eyes boom and closed eyes open mouth which is boom now we have it all taken care of whenever it comes to the png tube side all we need to do now is just hit set hotkey. I'm going to hit the number seven on my keypad. So number seven. And it tells me that number seven is now that one's hotkey. Now, here's the important thing. We're going to go to our stream deck, open it up. As you can tell, I have already made a couple of different ones. Now we're going to click this button right here. That's empty. And now if I do recall, this one is going to be, well, actually, I can look on this one. And this just tells me that it's a hotkey, system hotkey. So I'm going to look over here, scroll down to hotkey, click hotkey, drag it in and drop. And you all can't see it, but on my stream deck, it does show that there's a button there. And now I can title this Annoyed. And it pops up whenever it comes underneath. And then click to assign seven. 
And now I'm going to go over here, hit the plus button. Oh, my bad, wrong button. There we go. And set from file. Go over here to annoyed. And there we go. It is very simple, very easy. And now if I go over to my stream deck, here's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and now number seven. Now I have the annoyed look and it was super simple, super easy. And yeah, that's basically it whenever it comes to how easy it is to set up your stream deck. Now you can add tons more buttons and tons more hotkeys. This is the most simplistic way to go about it. You can even go as far as doing a lot more different things so that like say all your hotkeys are completely different than just the number keys because sometimes you need to use your number keys whenever you're doing 3D modeling or designing or anything like that. But this is the quick, easy way that I've been doing this. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe and don't have too much fun.